Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. This video is about the navigation bar. Now, in this demonstration website that you're looking at here, you can see I've already made what's called a nav bar. I'm selecting it right now so I can show you. I'll move it around so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the nav bar or navigation bar. I'd like to show you how I designed this using, of course, the nav bar tool. If you scroll down in your toolbox down here, there's an area for navigation. Bring it right up here so we can see it. Under navigation, there's a tool called the navigation bar. So simply click this and you drag this out onto the canvas. Now, as you can see, the default nav bar looks very different from the one that I'm using because I worked on it a little bit. Here's what I did. You double click on the nav bar property and you get to do all kinds of good things with it. First thing I did was I made it a horizontal nav bar instead of vertical. I'll show you what I mean. See, so the buttons go side to side instead of up and down. Also, you'll notice it starts me with four buttons and I wanted five. I could have removed buttons or added buttons. I added a button. In this case, I added a button called Affiliates so that uh, I would have the right number of buttons on my navigation. And the other thing I did, obviously, was rename these to the topics and pages that I wanted them to match up to. So I clicked on this one and I edited it so it would say about us. I said OK, OK, and you can see that's what it did. And I, of course I did this for the other one, so I just renamed all these buttons. But you'll notice that it also looks different. And I did that by using the Style tab. So here is where I set what I wanted my buttons to look like. And of course there's so many combinations of choices as you can see. So you can choose an image that you want to use, what the image will look like when people hover over the button, um, the color of everything, uh, you know, how it animates when they click on it or hover, etc. So it even shows you a little example of what you're making here. So in this case, here's the normal and here's the hover. You can see when it, it looks normal, it looks like this. When I hover, it sort of lightens up like that. So you can decide what you want the buttons to look like here in the Style tab and then click OK. So in this video demonstration, what I like to do is work with the one that I've already started up here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and delete this. I just wanted you to see how I brought it out onto the canvas. So I'm deleting that. And let's double click on the one that I've already started. So as you can see, I've renamed all of the buttons. And I did that simply by clicking on one, going to edit, and I named it here. But the next thing I want to do now is, oh, and by the way, here's my style. You can see I chose this for my normal and this for my hover. And you can see that this is what it would look like and I chose a, a black font so that the words would, would show up better. So once I made that decision, the next thing for me to do, and I haven't done it yet, I've saved it for this video, is now it's time for me to link these to the pages I want to link them to. So here's how we do that. So let's start with the About Us button. Again, I go to Edit, and I need to decide what kind of link I want to work with. An internal web page, in other words, a page on the site I'm building now, or I can link to an external website. So if I wanted to link this button to 90secondwebsitebuilder.com, I could do that. I could also link it, make it an email address, or download a file, or do of the, any of the other types of links that it can make. I made a video about that. If you want to know about the types of links, there's a video specifically for that. But in this event, and in most cases, your nav bar is going to link to an internal web page. So I'm going to choose link to internal web page, and then I have to tell it which page I want it to link to. So I simply do that by going to select. Select brings up a list of all the pages I'm working on, the pages that I have created in my current project. So obviously, the About Us button needs to link to the page I called About. So I simply click on it, say OK, OK, and it's done. As you can see, this gets updated. It shows me the name of the link, and it shows me what page it's going to link to. And then I would simply repeat that process for all of the buttons, I would say edit the products button. I want to link to an internal page. I will select the page, this particular page. I say OK, OK, and that's done. And then, of course, I would do that for the rest. And that's all it takes to make a navigation bar that links to the pages on your website. So when we publish when we, and we click on these buttons, they would open up those particular pages. OK, easy enough.